All right, well, hello, it's, uh, it's Felix here from the English band Hot Chip, and I'm here to talk about Ableton Live. The reasons that I really like using Ableton Live uh, as a performer on stage is that it, it gives me a tremendous amount of flexibility in terms of um, the structures of our songs um, because we don't we don't play our songs to kind of predetermined um, structures with you know verse lasting this long and or not all of our songs anyway there's quite a lot of um, improvisation and kind of jamming as it were in the performances and that's quite hard to manage with five people um, but the difference that Ableton's made over using, for example, the MPC that I used to use is I can make very radical shifts in, in music very quickly, you know, for example, shifting from one track into another. Because the Ableton project that I use is just one big project with all the, all the tracks in it kind of thing. Um, so I use it to um, sequence all the drum patterns that I run, um, along with small bits of keyboard and some melodic parts. Not very many, though, because we're quite... Um, We've got quite a hard line policy on, on sequencing, so... Uh, we've always wanted to keep things as simple as possible, I think. A lot of played percussion and, and drum parts and all the keyboard parts played live. And we didn't really mean that to be something that would make us stand out, but um, I think a lot of people respond to the fact that so much of the music is played. So that's one of the main things that I like about using it, using it on stage. And also just the sound quality is really good for me, you know, running it through a Motu sound card and the bass drums really kind of cut through and, you know, just there's a lot more kind of fidelity than, than the other ways that I've used sample drum things before. Uh, I use a Jazz Mutant uh, Lima with, the, with this um, setup that I've got. So in conjunction with that, uh, being able to just create controls for different effects and very easily and intuitively um, design different kind of setups for different songs is really good. You know, it's just the only real limit to, to what you do is kind of what you can think up to do within a song. So, um, yeah, I guess those are the things I like about using it live. I think it's, it's funny that Ableton probably wasn't um, originally um, designed, as it were, to be used as DJ software, you know, um, because the way that I came to use it was through DJing um, and putting together mixes and um, not really using it live so much, more just putting mixes together in the studio and, and experimenting with that. Um, and I, the first thing I really did with it was put together the DJ Kicks compilation that, that came out um, last year and that basically taught me you know, most of the stuff that I know about using it. So I, I came to understand using it through making mixes and DJing with it. And I haven't, I don't really use it for DJing when I play out live that much, although I am quite tempted to start doing that. But um, at the moment, I'm still on the vinyl format. I haven't moved on from that yet. <laughs> In the studio, what I like about it is it allows you to kind of mess around with your music a bit more, you know, it's a bit more, um, you can think of your music in a bit more of a modular way of making different sections of a song and then put it together in different orders and you're not, you're not stuck to this kind of linear method of, of making music electronically, which, is, which has been a problem for a lot of composers, I think, that they're stuck in that, in that mindset. Being able to work on different parts and then mix and match them and, and things like that so easily is really important and I guess that's like the great thing about the Ableton interface that you know, makes it popular with so many musicians. Because my studio is quite um, hardware rather than software based, it's, it's been really good to have these updates that Ableton is giving which, which make it much easier to integrate in a, in a, you know, in a kind of MIDI setup and, and with all the external effects and you know I use, I just use an endless amount of um, different pedals and old effects and you know there's hundreds of those kind of things in in my studio I've got an enormous patch bay and to be able to integrate all that with with live is just a really massive um, bonus really and I use the drum racks feature of the, of the latest version of Ableton quite a lot as well.
it's an incredibly intuitive feature. It just works exactly the way that you'd imagine it should work, if you see what I mean. Um, but at the same time, it's it's very kind of flexible. So I like to have I like to tune a lot of the drums and percussion I use, um, which is something that I've only really started doing since I've been using Ableton because because I've got the power to do that, and I and I didn't really have that before. So um, so I do quite a lot of layering of sounds. I like a lot of the synthetic sounds um, that you get out of the machine drum and, and some of the more kind of extreme um, effects and the way that it's so easy to, to modulate the sounds and play with filters and envelopes and things like that. But I also like having access to a range of really good, well-sampled classic drum machine sounds or, or just having access to you know, any, any drum machine sound you can, you can imagine. that's really what has led me to favour using that over Logic and the other software that, that I used to use, that I still use occasionally, but you know, <laughs> let's face it, it's easier to use Ableton really, isn't it? <laughs>